Welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Ahsoka. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching the season one finale of Ahsoka. <sighs> it's here. Um, I'm sad because I don't want the, the show to end because I don't feel like we've gotten enough. But I guess that's good because it keeps you wanting more. But I definitely think we're getting a season two. Um, I don't think Thrawn is going to be resolved whatsoever in this episode. As a matter of fact, I don't want him to. I want Thrawn to have his own show. I or, or yeah, I don't, I don't know, because that means <laughs> he could survive elsewhere. Uh, that means that he could uh, thrive for a long time. <laughs> but I, I want more of this, and I do feel like it's been slow going, getting from the beginning to here when it comes to like Sabine and Ezra and getting to Thrawn. Um, but I do think that the transformation that we needed out of Ahsoka happened. You know, she she hasn't been herself, and then she had her few moments with Anakin, and everything changed. And, uh, you know, her hugging Ezra and being happy to see him and laughing and everything. The, she's not only lighter as, as Ahsoka the White, but she's just lighter in nature. Um, she's just happier. Uh, I hope that doesn't change and end in this episode. <laughs> I, I, I do think having Ezra around, we have his ingenuity with us because he is one smart cookie and he he's really good strategically to where Thrawn is good strategically, but they're just very different. Ezra's shenanigans and Thrawn's is uh, military know-how um, and, and, and those two against each other. Lots of fun. So I'm hoping that there's something that we have to where we can we can get on the chimera, um, maybe get into a couple of the 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 the, the tombs or whatever thing that I don't know what are the caskets? They're boxes with dead bodies in them. I don't know what you call those in space, <laughs> but <laughs> future missiles. I don't know. But you know, maybe they can sneak into those and and transfer back to the galaxy we need to be in. Um, but you know, we're left with the question of what the hell is Balin doing? Now, the saddest part about this episode ooh, <laughs> is that it's the last time we'll see not only Ray Stevenson, but him as Balin. And I don't know where this leads his character. I don't know where it ends his character, but um, we are so lucky to have gotten Balin's Skull. He is phenomenal. I would have loved to have seen where that character would have gone in the future, um, but the the taste that we got, we should savor for as long as we possibly can. Now, I don't need any cameos. I don't need anything wild going on. If Zeb appeared, like, I'd be very happy, but we saw him in The Mandalorian, so it's not like, oh my god, we've been waiting eight episodes for Zeb. Now, a Kanan voice appearance or Kanan at all, okay, I'm not going to put any money on it. I know Freddie Prince Jr. has said no, <laughs> and, and he seems like he firmly sticks to his word. So if that doesn't happen, that's okay too. But I, I would like to see where Balin's character is headed off to, why it was, you know, where, where he was ready to let go of his Padawan. And that has to happen. That's very much a Jedi thing is to like let go and not have attachments. Um, so, and I know he's not a Jedi, but he's also not a Sith. So he's taking from both. Um, him being able to let Shin go and kind of like send her on her way, hopefully equipping her with everything that she needs to survive and, and thrive. And where he's going is the big question. Now, I don't know if our group goes to Balin. I don't know if they follow Shin to wherever she's going. I don't know if we go to the Chimera. I'm not sure. I don't want to speculate too much because I could throw a bunch of ideas out there and not one will happen and then something more amazing will happen or something very sideways will happen. Um, but as long as we get an answer about what Balin's up to um, and what this greater power is, like why, why do these witches want to get off this planet? You know, why uh, is, I mean, I know why Thrawn wants to go back to his galaxy, but I feel like you could go anywhere. Go conquer a new galaxy. I don't know. I know he probably has sympathizers back in, in the regular galaxy, so that makes sense. But uh, I'm very curious to see where that's going, if we're going to see anybody risen from the dead. Um, if not, season two is going to be crazy. Um, uh, we're going to see some Night Sister magic. I would love to see more magic. Like, I love witches. I love that shit. So if we could get more, I'm game. Um, uh, Enoch, you know... I want to see Wes Chatham's beautiful face, but if not, as long as he makes it to season two, again, I'm happy. 
Um, I don't know about any resolutions with storylines. Um, I mean, obviously, the New Republic is a pile of garbage. <laughs> Senator Ziono, he needs to watch his back. Chopper's after him. Um, Hera, by the skin of her teeth, was held on to her position as general um, with Leia's help. I absolutely love that. I love having C-3PO. Like, they used that very correctly and and a minimal amount. They didn't overdo it and they didn't try to use them for the rest of the episode. So I was very happy about how that worked out. But, you know, the New Republic is so inept. And I'm actually pretty sad to see Mon Mothma going with everything, but I feel like who she was when we met her in Andor and then, you know, all through that, like, this is her chill out period. This is where she might be just like growing old and tired. I'm not sure. I, I, I want to see Genevieve O'Reilly do Genevieve O'Reilly because she was phenomenal in Andor as Mon Mothma. And I would love to have another moment like that. Are we going to get it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I do know that we need a little bit more from Jason. Jason Sindula has got some Force stuff brewing in him. And I would love to know the angle in which that's going to go. Does he become a Jedi? Um, does he train with Ahsoka in the future? Like, is is there a Ben Solo thing that happens in his future? I hope not. Oh, my God. Mm. I know he's only like five right now. So he's Jason is older. So hopefully he survives. Oh, God. <laughs> Knowing where the sequels are and, and just this, the, the limited amount of space we have story wise to fill that to get to that point. If they got if they came back to this galaxy and there was a complete reset, I'd be like, oops, let's remake those movies. Rats. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind them. I don't hate them. There's they're they're not my favorites. Um, but I don't think we're gonna have any big deaths. I think we're gonna have some big moments. I think we're gonna have some amazing lightsaber duels, especially because Shin and 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 <sighs> Ahsoka handled Shin without a lightsaber, as did Ezra. Um, I would like if Shin joined us. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, but like we need to have a lightsaber duel. I don't want another Balin Ahsoka duel. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I, I would just like... Uh, I don't know. I don't know where I want the story to go. I'm not going to speculate. I'm getting myself in trouble, like thinking and trying to put things out there. No, no, just go with the flow. I hope I cry. I hope that there's some big moments. I hope it's fun. And I hope it leaves us thirsting for more. And I have no doubt that it will. So guys, with that being said, let's get into it. The Ahsoka finale. Here we go. The symmetry in some of these shots is so satisfying. Dispatch two TIE fighters if they find their mark. Tell them to engage. There is little the Jedi can do to stop us now. Yeah. Oh. I've watched words. many an Imperial officer make the same assumptions about the Rebellion. Even I fell victim to the heroics of a single Jedi. Never again. God, he's intimidating. Come forward. Are they gonna like give her a, a gift? You no. shall be rewarded. Indeed, okay. The gift of shadows. What does that mean? Are you prepared? She excited or scared? What's gonna happen? Is she gonna look like them? That'd be so cool. Yup. Oh, cool. <laughs> Scary, but cool. So, did like she get like an upgrade? Is she can she power up now? Is she a super witch. This music, Kevin Kiner. Oh. I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. 
Ugh. Love the TIE Fighter noise. I feel like I should know what the Blade of Talzin is. Not ringing a bell. The Jedi, the Witch, and the Warlord. <laughs> Love that title. Is he making a saber? No, no, that's not gonna work. Look. Not going to work. What are He's you with Hu Yang. The blade emitter is too narrow. Now look here. I've been teaching younglings how to construct lightsabers longer than you've been alive. Stop that! Everything in here is organized. <laughs> have a system. So do I. You, sir, have a method, <laughs> not a system or anything resembling a process. <laughs> Kanan Jarrus. Is that so? Mm -hmm. yeah. He was my master. Tell me everything I know. <sighs> That's it. I had two of those. Kanan took the one, the other I held onto in case he ever needed it. It's a bother that you should have it. <laughs> it is indeed. Is he gonna light it? Well done. Looks like you were a good student. Miss <laughs> Bean, did Soka ever teach you how to... What happened between those two? What did I miss? A lot. <laughs> well, Soka, always on the outside of the ship. Often no one understood my reasons. Except my master. Anakin. He always stood by me, even when no one else did. And that's why, no matter what happens next, I'm going to be there for you. Have you kept up with your training? I, I try. I do. There you go. <laughs> There is no try. Hey, let's go. Just finished. Tie fighters. No, not the naughty. Oh, nice. Just get out of there. Go, go. Sabine fire or something. There you go. Oh. Do they have time for this? I don't think they have time for this. Got him. <laughs> sure did. Oh. Sorry to state the obvious. This is going to slow us down a bit. Only if we let it. Okay, get to fixing. The options to prevent our departure are now severely limited, if not impossible, which is why we should prepare for a ground assault. Okay. Immediately. He wants to win. All right. Aw, they're helping. <laughs> May the force be with you. That kind of felt like a goodbye, and I don't like it. Yang, how's it going? I'm doing the best I can. However, I cannot promise anything. You've kept her in this guy longer than I've been alive. No, oh, oh, buddy. Do not wait for me. <laughs> Rain hellfire upon them. Where are Balin and Chin? There'd be no negotiating with the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker. Honestly, it's smart on his part. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Is Sabine doing anything, though? <gasps> oh, I thought we were gonna get a squashed howler. Good grief. <laughs> Sabine, blasters! Yep, that's where she does her best work. Yeah. 
I am really worried about uh, Morgan and that new sword she's got. She's so cool. Oh, yep. Not so fast. The eyes on that mask were so awesome. Oh, this is wicked. This ever happened before? No, this is new. Lucky us. Lucky us. Zombie stormtroopers. I am in awe. This is amazing. Got him. Oh, wow, I didn't expect that. That's amazing. That's She's been training. What's your excuse? Oh. <laughs> oh, is it connecting to the ring? Yep. We require a little more time. I understand. For the Empire. He's asking for a sacrifice. They're leaving her behind. Super loyal to you, huh? I do want to see her wielding that sword. I hope no one dies, but it's going to be amazing. I'm glad she finally gets to fight. You have to start cutting off limbs, then they can't walk. Go on, I'll handle this. Hopefully. We stay together, remember? I am scared about this sword, but this is amazing. <laughs> wow. Was that a stunt double? She was moving quick. Oh, holding my breath. I'm so excited and nervous. <laughs> so these guys are also dead, as it seems. Okay. Take us out. Don't stab her! Nervous. Oh, take that helmet off. I want to see what he looks like underneath. Jeez, come on, Ezra. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> had a girl. <sighs> Beautiful. Um, can you force throw her and then jump across? No, I push you first and you pull me across. Spin. Ezra. Do this. That's a lot of confidence. I like it. Go. Oh my god! <sighs> He's just on the edge. He's just gonna Nice! <laughs> So I'm not worried about Ahsoka, so... Oh no! Oh, now I am! Oh! Nice. Your friends are dead. And you will die here. Alone. She's not alone. 
Not alone. Huh. <sighs> that a girl. How's this gonna play out? Is this what Angina feels like? <gasps> oh, I'm not mad. That was cool. Wanna get out of here? Yes. Oh. Hu Yang. <laughs> and blast off or fall off. Open a channel, please. Okay, we're gonna have a chat. I know you. Because I knew your master. Don't get distracted. One wonders just how similar you might become. Awesome. Long live the Empire. <laughs> Shoot! Can you ride in the wave? Can you catch it too? No? Shit! I didn't expect that. Well, Balin and Shin are still here. And I feel like Ezra might be up to something as well, so don't discount him at all in this moment. Was that Morai? I thought Morai was fatter. Is that the father, sister, and son? Or the father, son, and daughter, whatever it is. It's gonna go right around the planet, isn't it? Such a cool shot. Guess we'll get more of that in season two. <laughs> it's Ezra. <laughs> yeah. What, Chopper? Does he know? <laughs> Ezra? Hi, Hera. <laughs> Mom? <sighs> I did well. Did I? You did. Strong got away. It's not on you. What is it? What's going on? I felt like nothing. Just talk, started, child. Started. Like a whale? Was it a purgle? So, a beautiful force ghost, Anakin. I didn't... I, I don't know why I didn't expect that, but I really didn't. Um, and... It's nice that we know that, like, he's watching over them. <sighs> he's not too far away. Which means I think he will be in Season 2, while uh, Ahsoka and Sabine are training 
um, while they are working on her skills, because now Sabine has uh, Force ability. She always has, but she couldn't unlock it. She couldn't reach that. And I'm happy that she finally got it. Um, but then also that Shin and Balin are still on this planet. Now, obviously, they were planning on using Ray Stevenson for um, quite some time. So I don't, I don't even want to speculate what they're going to do about that. But whatever he's searching for, because it looked like the, the father and the daughter and the son kind of statues. Um, so I'm, I'm wondering if, like... Because we know Ahsoka is, she was brought back to life by the daughter. And then I believe that was Morai, but it didn't look like Morai. It looked like a regular owl instead of like the fat one that we're kind of accustomed to. But maybe that was Morai. I'm pretty sure it was. Um, so Morai, you know, is obviously because of the daughter. Um, yeah. So I think, uh, I think Balin will know. Or, well, Balin might be the answer in order to get home. Shin, I would really like for her to join our group. I, w I would really, really like, to, not necessarily just, I mean, she would be the grumpy one of the group and that's completely fine because she's, I love her, I dig her, um, but I want more of her. I want more of her. Ezra, back with Hera. I don't know how he necessarily escaped without being caught, but again, it's Ezra, so I, I, I'm not surprised at the same time. I really wanted a Zeb reunion, but maybe we'll get that in season two. Everything's season two. Everything's season two. And I want season two tomorrow, but it'll probably be like two years from now, and that makes me sad. The night troopers being brought back to life or reanimated, not really brought back to life, but being reanimated, first of all, super cool. I loved seeing the green and the helmets. I thought that that was awesome. And I wanted some witch stuff. Like, I'm like, like, can we see them do something? Now, I'm sure when they make everybody out of the catacomb boxes, caskets, whatever, when they make them rise and they reanimate them, that's going to be balls out crazy. Um, I, I don't know if I'm supposed to know. Uh, what was Morgan Sword called again? the the blade of talison or talzin i don't know if i'm supposed to know that i don't know if i remember that or not um a lot of times when i would watch some of the old stuff i can't tell you that i would pay sharp attention to those details because i probably had my phone out and i was probably like going over and you know doing dishes and then like doing one thing or another so it's like i wasn't sitting and concentrating like i get to do when i when i watch a reaction or when i do a reaction rather um, so like, I'm, I'm like, am I supposed to know that? I don't know, but it was a cool sword. And I was happy to finally see Morgan fight because obviously we saw her fight in the, in the Mandalorian. And I was just like, like, all she's really done is like boss people around the entire time. Now her sacrificing herself, like was kind of, uh, I mean, that might've been like the end game or the goal for her entire existence was to be changed by the mothers and and to be, uh, I wanted to say upgraded or like maybe she was promoted in the sisterhood. Not quite sure, but like, you know, like they look cool. Um, it was really cool to see her and Ahsoka fighting. That's when I was like, I, I was like, we have to have like some sort of a lightsaber duel, but I was like, with who? That was answered at the very beginning and I was not disappointed. Uh, I, I loved every minute of Morgan and Ahsoka fighting. Uh, like literally it just gave me like really, really bad anxiety. Now them fighting the night troopers, the reanimated troopers and them just like constantly coming back and not dying. That was insane. Now, uh, Sabine being strangled and like, that's what like, like, you know, like she was just kind of reaching out before, but then like you really saw her kind of like come into the force. Now, Sure. Why not in the finale? You know what? I love Dave Filoni. I love his writing. I love his characters. I love almost everything he does. And then there's like that stuff where like she doesn't say anything like when, you know, uh, Ahsoka asks her what she saw in the distance or, you know, like like it takes her forever to like like link into the force. And I get like you get blocks and stuff, but like her moving a little bit of a cup and it just being there would have been nice or like you know shin feeling a little bit of her pushing would have been nice but for it to all just like come back because there's peril maybe it's because she reconnected with ezra maybe it's because she finally felt connected with ahsoka again and she really felt supported and she really felt like you know they were a team you know maybe maybe it's just 
waiting until the uh, last episode for her to, you know, uh, have some force ability, and then she's able to push Ezra up onto the ship. Okay. It looked cool. It sounded cool. We got the force theme. I'm not upset. It's nice to see Ezra and her doing things that are very much Sabine and Ezra things to do. Um, and like very much, it just reminded me of Rebels, hundred percent. Um, and then like even him on the comm and just being like, "Thanks for the heads up." Like a hundred percent, I knew he was gonna put on that trooper armor because he collects those helmets. Like uh, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. It's Ezra. It's Ezra. And I love how it's so much like his character without being like weird, over the top, cheesy. You know, just like the same old, same old. It just very much is in his wheelhouse, and I love that. I kind of see it as a little bit of a blessing that. Uh, Ahsoka and Sabine were left behind because not only that, Hu Yang actually gets to teach Sabine things. Like if Sabine wants to build her own lightsaber because she was sitting there, you know, listening to the story about Kanan and when he was Caleb and he was building a lightsaber and then Ezra got the part, the other part. I love Hu Yang. I love Hu Yang so much. But like, you know, they're talking about how, you know, Kanan taught Ezra how to, how to build a lightsaber. And it would just be nice for Sabine to actually have her youngling training, not only with Hu Yang, but like with Ahsoka and like to like really get that full Padawan experience because now like Ahsoka won't be as afraid that Sabine might seek revenge. And the only reason why she feels that way is most likely because of Anakin, because of what happened with Anakin and how he became what he was. I think that that was probably the thing that scared Ahsoka the most. And, you know, Sabine didn't do that. And so like, I, I, I really hope season two, we get like a full Jedi Sabine. Again, I don't know what their plan is gonna be for Ray Stevenson. Oh, he's so good, he's so good. I'm glad we got like a really epic finish with him. Um, like epic is in like a beautiful shot. Um, that sucks that he won't be around for any more. That really does suck. Oh, what a legacy though. He, he, he went out on a high note, but obviously that's going to play into how they get back with Anakin watching over. And then we have all of Anakin's recordings. We have all 20 of them. You know, uh, I feel like Sabine could really like if Sabine watches those, maybe like the the inspiration of seeing Ahsoka's master, you know, being a teacher and just seeing how frustrating maybe that relationship was between the two of them and kind of just knowing that like that's how it be sometimes. And and definitely because of the line of Jedi that we come from, you know, it always is. <laughs> But now with Thrawn and the mothers on Dathomir, uh, <laughs> the scene of the crime where it all went down before, uh, that was a scary looking planet, but uh, I'm, I'm excited to like see that. I'm like, I am very much in that lore and in that depth with the witches and the magic and all of that. Sign me up, I wanna be in it. Uh, I, I I would love every second of that, and I'm I'm really looking forward to season two with them. Um, also, Thrawn's return to the Empire, and um, I I don't think he just like kicks a door in and says I'm back, but I I think um, maybe when he presents himself with this new army that he'll possibly have, you know, that uh, there's a lot of people welcoming him with open arms, maybe. But speaking of arms. Bendu told him that he would die with the embrace of cold arms, and that seemed for us to be the Purgle um, when they embraced him and took him and Ezra away. Uh, maybe the cold arms are actually the reanimated corpses of whomever is being brought back, whether they were former witches, warlocks, whatnots. Uh, maybe, maybe they all <laughs> gobble him up. Maybe that's Thrawn's demise. I'm not sure. Um, but it would definitely make sense if they went in that direction. And now that Ezra and Hera are back together, and, and I love that Chopper was just like, hey, hey, wait a second. I got a vibe about this guy. I think I know who this is. Um, I love that. So if we get Hera, Ezra, Zeb, Chopper together, maybe they could find our favorite uh, pirate Hondo. 
that would be wonderful. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, but, you know, um, I think there's either going to be a rescue mission or uh, there is going to be, especially with Ezra showing back up and maybe giving uh, an account of Thrawn, that Thrawn is back, that maybe the New Republic will listen. I mean, obviously they don't listen hard enough because the the New Order or the First Order, I was like, that didn't sound right. The First Order, you know, happens. So I, I trust Dave Filoni to give us an amazing story. But maybe don't wait until the eighth episode of the season to let one of your main characters finally have Force abilities. Like, it should have just been peppered in there. That's all I'm saying. Like, I can't write a show. I, that, that's why I don't do that. Like, that's why they do. And But that's the only thing that I'm really kind of like, huh, just right there in the end, huh? Okay. <laughs> but guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon. It's mostly me clutching my chest with anxiety. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. One, were you anxious? Because I know I was. Uh, but what do you think of Ezra's lightsaber being part of Kanan's lightsaber? I don't know why I thought of like Harry Potter and Voldemort, even though that's not the same thing, but it is kind of the same thing that they like share a piece of the same part of their wand, you know, the same thing. Like, I don't know. I just, it, it made me happy. <laughs> and it was like a little bit of like wizard witch kind of magic in my head. So I was like, that made me happy. But what did you think of Morgan Sword, the blade of Talzin? Oh, I don't know if that's right. I want to say Talison, but that's not right. I think it's Talison. Uh, but what do you think of that? <laughs> it was cool. Does Ahsoka still have that? Will it still work for her? <gasps> Questions. Ooh, would she even know what to do with it? Would she know how to wield it? Interesting. Do you think all those people are reanimated? Like, that were, like, came down with the temple? <laughs> like, you think they, like, just were like, ugh. All right, let's go find him. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> oh, but like, what do you guys think Balin's next step is? What do you think Shin's next step is? Like, there's so many questions. And I mean, I, f I feel like we got a good end as a jumping off point for a season two. I'm not upset about it. And I kind of expected to be left on this planet anyways. So it's not like I'm like, what? They didn't make it? Like, I kind of I kind of thought that already. <laughs> but guys come back here for season two i'm sure it's gonna happen and other star wars content i will be here for that as well but in the meantime may the force be with you bye